What up, man? Back with another video. Um, heading to Troy University. Got a big weekend, dope weekend. Headed to Troy University. I got a DJ there tailgate tomorrow morning. Then I got to drive all the way back to Huntsville to um, DJ an African fashion show at the um, University of Alabama Huntsville. So busy weekend. So you know I'm gonna take y'all on the road with me. We're gonna flip it. We're gonna kick it. We're gonna turn up. And we're gonna do this thing, man. Right now, um, I'm headed to pick up my rental car because I don't wanna drive Mulan. Mulan 2. I'm gonna call it Mulan 2. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna come up with another name for my infinity. But uh, right now, her name is Mulan 2 until I figure out another name for her. But yeah, headed to pick up a rental car from Enterprise and we're gonna get on the road. Yeah. Just pulled up to Enterprise. Um, about to get my rental car. Gotta see if I can find a dope one that I like. I don't see nothing back here that, you know, tickle my fans. I don't wanna, you know, drive. Got all these weak cars. I don't got no five cars. I got an infinity, though. I won't mind getting an infinity. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see what they got. I gotta wait. Hey, Matt. Huh? You're so Man, it's cold. You're wearing slides. Well, I, they're North Face they're slides. They're North Face slides. Okay. <laughs> it's so cold. <laughs> Miss Ray didn't get any clothes to help. Yes, ma'am. Okay, perfect. I'm vlogging. My like, trip. Actively right now? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. you sure? Okay. You sure you need any help? I honestly don't want that truck. But if I if I have to, I'll take it. You have to unless you rebook it. Oh, okay. That's fine. Are these good on gas? I can't even remember. Like 23 miles gallon. Uh, oh, I don't know. That was weird. I don't know. Why is that cheaper than everything else? Just the way you have the right plane set up right now. Oh. That's the most extra AirPods thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, this case? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That would be extra. Store of your life. Where are you going? Troy. University. So I just picked up my um my rental car. I actually got a pickup truck, which I really didn't want, but it was actually cheaper than buying a compact car. So let me take let me show y'all around. It's the Nissan Frontier. These are actually pretty fast, but I really did not want this car at all. I really did not want this, but saw they had um let me get in for y'all Ooh, it's gonna take me all the way to troy last time i went to troy i rented a uh suv uh, it was actually a nissan uh i don't know what the fuck it was a rogue i think nissan rogue because i had speakers and shit but this time i actually wanted a compact car but this was actually cheaper than a compact car uh let me take y'all get y'all see inside yeah, we in here. No sunroof, but you know, we can make it work though. But yeah, we here. <clears throat> I will say these Nissan uh, Frontiers, they got a lot of pickup. Um, I think I'm gonna have fun driving this to uh, Troy. I just gotta figure out what time I'm gonna lead them tomorrow though. I gotta be back in Huntsville at three o'clock to make it to um, UAH for the fashion show. Um, I gotta figure out, I'm gonna do this. But yeah, it's gonna happen. We're gonna turn up tonight. Um, it's gonna be fun. Uh, but this thing got a lot of pickup. Like, this thing can run, for real though. Let's see. But yeah. Um, just stay tuned on the drive, man. 
we're gonna have some conversation on the drive but other than that man we'll see i see y'all when i get to well y'all see when i get to troy because i know y'all not going to sit here and just ride with me all the way four hours to troy but we're gonna make it though we're gonna make it just got to the crib about to pack my car looks like dre has been working on the work truck So you gotta watch a couple cars, I'm guessing. But yeah, um, I'm about to go home, pack, get all my stuff for this event tonight. So yeah, we're gonna turn up. So I just finished packing, packed the car up, and I almost forgot the camera. How would that be if I forgot the camera? But headed to Troy, gonna turn up Troy tonight and tomorrow. We finna do this. Yes, sir. We on the road. Start this thing up. Top of the mook. Big boy rental car. Safety's first. Make sure my seatbelt is on. Flip the camera again. Make sure my seatbelt is on. Safety first. We here. Hey, lighting is amazing right now. But yeah, hopefully it's sturdy. Of course, I'm still learning how to YouTube and stuff. Hopefully, it stays sturdy. I need to do my Bluetooth, you know. But yeah, um, <clears throat> headed to Troy. Um, I've been DJing. Well, back up. Um, this is pretty much my first DJ vlog, so I'm gonna give you a background story about me. Um, I've been DJing for 10 years. I started um, back in 2009, for, officially. 2009. I was dabbling dabbling with it before but 2009 is like my official start date i say to myself that <clears throat> i actually started djing so i'll definitely say i've been djing for 10 years um it will be 11 years in may of 2020 so yeah um djing i started at pretty much i'll say alabama and where i went to school at and ever since then man i just been building my brand working every day made some dope connections i dj for um j dot rain um <clears throat> but throughout my whole like time i met a whole bunch of dope people that you know continue to this day put me in positions that can pretty much help me get to where i want to go of course i want to be a big professional dj um so Shout out to all the people who has booked me um, for big events. All right, just book me in general, man. Those small events, dang, I went the wrong way. Those small events actually helped me um, get to where I am now. I mean, you know, even the smallest event that I had to play for 60 year olds, like that actually taught me more music, put me in a um, uncomfortable position, which I really like. So <clears throat> just being able to do shit like that definitely um help me so pretty much like a back a short background of me um i'm from atlanta came to huntsville alabama to dj well go to school to dj and just been doing it ever since man so it's a dream i have and just follow your passion man if you have a passion man follow it like don't stray away from it if you really want something man do it i have a full-time job that pays for my passion that pays for djing so all the equipment that i ever own my full-time job pay for it and it makes it a lot easier than you know just quitting that full-time job and just trying to get everything off of like your dj income because starting out djs that's like the most hardest like thing to do like <clears throat> to control your income and be able to like stay up the time like you need that like to me what helped me is having that extra income from my full-time job to be able to hey let me buy this uh $600 speaker I can, I can drop on it because I actually have the funds to do it but say for instance you know you DJ you a uh, starting out DJ you might not have the funds to sit here and say oh I'm just gonna drop $600 because the money you do make is the money you have to go to your bills until like a DJ is making like uh, roughly I'll say like four thousand dollars a week mm, you know what I'll go I'll go lower than that if a D if you if you can honestly truly make I want to say fifteen hundred dollars a week 
you should be good. Only thing about DJing is it doesn't come with benefits. So if you get sick, you coming out your pocket to go to the doctor or have anything done. That's another downfall for DJing. Like having insurance, I have where I work at, man, I have great insurance. Like having insurance to say when I get sick, man, I'm going to the doctor, I can get everything paid for. I don't gotta come out my pocket for the whole doctor visit. Like having that insurance, man, is a has been a blessing. And having, you know, the job I got now has been a blessing. It's actually a dream job on the side. I'm not gonna tell y'all what it is until later. Um, but having this job, man, is a blessing. Hold on. I know some of y'all know who, some of y'all know where I work at, but if you don't know where I work at, man, I'll tell y'all later. But I don't want to put that out right out there right now. But <clears throat> yeah, man, like just it's been a long journey, man. Long journey of learning. Cause when I first started, I didn't have that full-time job and learning how to get uh DJ equipment was tough, man. Like tough. And most of my DJ equipment came from me later in my career and me learning, getting older and actually like you know realizing that yeah i need a full-time job so yeah man just if you have a passion if you have a thought a dream that you always wanted to do do it man don't stop man just do it don't don't give up continue to do it every day work at it every day even if you have a full-time job as soon as you get off work work at it every day um that's what i do Although I haven't been practicing much lately, but I'm gonna get back on it. You know, life hits you, man. You'd be like, man, I'm tired, man. I'm trying to go to the movie. I'm trying to kick it, man. I just want to relax. But I really want to do this. I really want to be a, a famous DJ. I want to travel to where I want to work for myself. So I got to put all that aside and actually come up with a game plan where I can manage my time more wisely that I can practice every single day. I need it. I need to practice. You, whatever you do, whatever you have passion in, you gotta practice every single day. You can't get a big headed and get to a point where you just lazy and be like, man, I got this, man. I don't gotta practice. Man, you need to practice every single day because everything's changing, everything's evolving. So, you know, you wanna be on top of your toes, man. There's no, so much new music coming out, especially if you wanna be a DJ. But if you wanna be something else, man, just stay on your craft, man. Practice every day. That's what I, that's the advice I give you. Finally made it to Mike House. Y'all lucky, because y'all don't have to drive and sit in a car for three hours to get to y'all destination. Y'all just got to y'all destination. Within a second, it flipped. I mean, close to Montgomery with Tempa, when Tempeka, Alabama, finally here. Um, yeah, we here. I'm trying to figure out what the move is. I'm trying to drink, man. I'm trying to turn up, man. It's time. What up, Mike? Go up to the vlog. Oh, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> it's for the weekend. Okay, okay, okay. okay. You want a drink? You Definitely. A drink. So as soon as I get here, I gotta get dressed and turn up. Um, you know the drip is here. Yeah, you know, spread around. Yeah, Atlanta United. Uh, ooh, all the way down to the books. Yeah, we here, man. About to go out right now, but. I was gonna take the camera, but I don't feel like taking the camera tonight, so pay attention to my Instagram. I might maybe do it on my phone and switch it and put it in there, but just know tomorrow morning, all day, y'all with me. But tonight, I'm about to turn up. Y'all will see some on Instagram before this video post, but yeah, we here. The lighting in this thing is amazing. We here, man. Yeah, but DJ Don Jam, man, I'm out, man.